this is Frank driving wrong in Malibu, minding my own business, <laughs> and I run into this uh, amazing power wagon. Thanks, I mean, uh, very cool. But you have an interesting story because uh, you haven't been in Malibu that long. No. Uh, you just kind of showed up in this thing, but um, uh, you drove it quite a ways. I did. I For about nine years, all of my trips were about this truck in South Carolina in storage, and I decided to hit the road. It took two months. And why Malibu? Well, I've worked here off and on since 2011, okay. and uh, I thought if there were anywhere to kind of haunt, it would be Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> it fits here. It, it fits does. Perfect. It does. It's well appreciated already oh, yeah. in a week. Yeah. And, and uh, if you had to guess, how many miles are on this thing? Oh, gosh. I mean, I think it's pretty authentic. It had 18,000 when I got it. Yeah. I think I'm at 23 now. And what, what year is it? Uh, 55 Dodge. 55. And Power Wagon was domestic. Yeah. Uh, it's really a military M30 or M43 uh, ambulance. Fantastic. What's what's your best story in 30 seconds with this thing? Oh man, 30 seconds. Um, well, I think it's kind of come back to its roots. Um, you know, it's basically a mash ambulance. Yeah. My best story is I made it 1,100 miles on tires that were from 1960. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, when That's I good. started blowing those tires, yeah. which kept the air and just lost the tread, yeah. I invested in real tires. And once I bought the cokers, I was like, I'm, I'm staying on the road. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think the only other power wagon in Malibu is actually at the MASH site. Right, where they found, right. Yeah. No, it's like it's looking for its yeah. lot, long yeah. lost cousins. This, this is a lot better <laughs> shape, though. <laughs> Hopefully. Just a little better, actually, yeah. Today, I'm driving the 2018 Mitsubishi Outlander. Mitsubishis are a bit of a challenge for me. Uh, I, I would call them a challenge brand. And that is that they're always kind of chasing a lot of what other brands are doing. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with this particular car. I certainly like the Evo and a lot of the, uh, the interesting, fun stuff, but this is an SUV. It's got some things that I like, and then it's got some things that I think they're still challenged at. I'll get into more of this stuff towards the end of the vlog. Um, yeah, there's one thing you just heard that beeping. There's a lot of buttons, a lot of switches, things that are kind of on when they should be off and things that are off that could I don't, kind of always be on. And they really need to work out some of those things, but we'll get into that towards the end of the vlog. For now, I gotta go up into town and let me show you what this piece looks like.
couldn't tell that this was a partially electric vehicle. You can look at this sticker right here that says plug-in hybrid PHEV. I don't even know what that stands for, but, um, and I'm not sure I'd want to have that on the side of my car. Maybe. Now, the interesting thing about the interior of this Mitsubishi Outlander is it's got a variety of things going on that, uh, both good and bad. Fit and finish is actually pretty nice. It's got some nice areas down in the, uh, in the center console that look pretty good. The, the uh, cup holders are in a position in a good place. Um, the, the shift knob is not really working that well because the, the, the park button is behind the knob. You're going to have to reach around it. It does have seat heaters. That's pretty good. Seats are somewhat comfortable, although they, they're not, not necessarily, it doesn't look like the best quality in the world. There's paddle shifts, uh, which is always an interesting thing when it's an automatic, but the paddle shifts in the Evo, I think, actually rotate with the steering wheel, which I think is good. So you rotate, you can shift at the same time. But these paddle shifts are locked in place, so if you rotate, you gotta get your hand back here down. You know what I mean? Doesn't really work all that well. Plus, when I'm driving, there's, a, there's some creaks going on in the back. I think there might be some occupants back there. I don't know. Just making a little bit of noise. There's also an auto hold button that you press so that the car doesn't roll down a hill. But for me, it seems to make sense, logical, that, that if you're on a hill like this, you wouldn't want to roll down. That should be an automatic thing. It should just be on auto hold. If you start to roll, then you gotta put on the brake, you gotta press the button, and then you can let go. It just, it just seems a little bass backwards. Wow, wow. Uh, before I get to that, uh, you know, I don't think there's too much else I need to say about the Mitsubishi. It's a good quality car. It's a good solid car. It's got some challenges, um, as as many cars do. And but if you're if you're a um, a Mitsubishi kind of guy and you like a girl kind of guy, girl, you know, uh, and you like these kinds of cars, um, it's, it may be right for you. Uh, it isn't specifically right for me. I have a very high standard for design and for ergonomics and a lot of the things that come with cars. And, and I get a lot of them, so I see a lot of um, 
really good things and then not so good things sometimes. And uh, I have to be as honest with you guys as I can. Um, I don't want to say something this fantastic when it isn't necessarily. But uh, I do respect Mitsubishi. Anybody, any car, the company that can get their car on the road, uh, you got to respect. You, you have to, you know, you can't, you can't talk negatively about uh, any car company that can can go through what they go through, get a car on the road, and uh, and keep you safe. It's it's cool. But you know, talking about cars, uh, it's it's always you know it's fun, it's interesting. Um, uh, I'm trying to help you guys, but my my gift today uh, is the gift that I I managed to secure myself. I don't know how this happened, but Kathy and I were standing out on the balcony, and then suddenly we started to see a little bit of tribulation in the water, and and it's it's hard if you've never seen a pot of dolphin up close uh, it it's it's hard to describe it's hard to get that that feeling out because it's truly it's not you know it's not a zoo this is something that exists in the ocean uh, in in abundance in true abundance I kid you not there was it was probably easily a couple of thousand dolphin in this pot uh, and it's truly magical. It was a, a gift that something I I will never forget. And I've I've experienced that before many times. Uh, gone to Catalina on a boat, and right in the boat, it goes right in the middle of the pod. Uh, it's just it's it's indescribable. And I, I wanted to be able to share that with you guys because the ocean means so much to us. Uh, and Kathy going out and surfing and and being able to see people playing in the ocean and and it's just a, a really big swim pool. You know you know how people are when they get a swim pool, they just start acting like kids and they have a good time. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. These creatures are not the norm. Uh, they're intelligent. They they use. They're very sophisticated. They use um, sonar and so so many things that that we we can't begin to understand. It's it's truly a magical experience. So once again, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, you know, if you're so inclined, pick up a Mitsubishi. But tomorrow's vlog. Tomorrow's vlog. We got we got some stuff coming. Uh, um, tomorrow's vlog is technically vlog 800. And uh, although uh, I was going to show you uh, uh, one thing, which is all prepared in tomorrow's vlog, I can't do that because it's vlog 800, and I can't just like show you, take you a car show. It's that's that would be inappropriate. But what I am going to do for tomorrow's vlog, vlog 800, is uh, it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be in a couple of days. So forgive me for the delay. But something really cool is coming, and it's going to be with my good buddy Tony Dow, and he's going to tell you a story. He's going to tell you a really cool story. It's an un unusual vlog. Uh, it's something I wanted to share. It's something he wants to share. Vlog 800, coming right at you very soon.